What's up guys? Um, I wanted to do a tour before I got too far along with a lot of the projects I'm going to be doing for our garden here. Um, I kind of wanted to do a before and after so I can kind of document where we are, where I started out and where I finished in like a year, two years, whatever it is. Another reason I want to do a tour right now is so you guys can kind of see where everything is in relation to each other. I'm in the old garden area right now and I'm gonna take you to the orchard. We have a new garden area that I'm gonna be building, or a new garden that I'm gonna be building from scratch down the hill, and then uh, I'll show you where the berry patch is, which is over the, uh, through the woods a little bit. So like I said, I'm starting out in our old garden area. Behind me, we have this potato mound that I just built. I actually had to move the fence in uh, about 40 feet, I would say, to make a new perimeter for our fence, and that's because uh, we're gonna be building a pole barn in that area. That's pretty much the only flat land we have, or at least it's the flattest land that we have because we live on a hill, and it's just a lot easier to build, build it here, and it makes sense. So I'm building, or I'm, I had to uh, move the fence in. Uh, I salvaged what I could. That's what I made this potato mound out of. Got it tarped right now. I'm gonna be planting that here in the next couple weeks. Had to move that fence in, so I've been moving a lot of stuff down to a new area that we're gonna be uh, making our garden permanently and building that from scratch this year. And as you can see behind me, we also have our greenhouse in our old garden area. Last year, this greenhouse produced a lot of peppers, bell peppers for us. Right now, it's kind of, it's kind of a mess because last year, um, I was still um, working a couple hours away so I'd come up on weekends and like I said it really it did really well during the summer but as soon as it got to the fall I was kind of in hunting mode hunting mindset that took up a lot of my time took priority in what I was doing up here I was gonna clean it out this spring but I saw something that said a lot of pollinators like to overwinter in stocks of old plants like this so I figured I'd let it I'd let it stay there and I'll clean it out when I'm ready to plant our new batch of bell peppers that brings me to my next area here to the uh, north of our greenhouse. It was a chipped area. We actually grew tomatoes here last year. That's what this fence is. It's like kind of our trellis. Uh, I'm going to be taking all of this down to our new garden area. There's three more beds in the back here with some cattle panels coming off. This is where we grew squash and cucumbers for the past few years and they've done really well. Um, I'm really going to hit squash hard this year because they store a long time. So yeah, these beds are going to be going down to the new area too. These three and then I have this long bed here which is our onions. Uh, but I think I'm gonna move this too and just move every single bed we have built, put it in the new garden area. And I have a bunch of felled logs that I'm gonna be turning into raised beds as well. So I'm standing on a tarp right now. This whole area is tarped. This was actually where we were planning on building our greenhouse, but things change and with our new garden being built, we're gonna build it down there. So I'm not exactly sure what my plans are for this tarp, this tarped area as of yet, but it's a great space. It gets really good sun. It's about as good a sun as we have on our hill here. So whatever I put in here is gonna do well, I think. Uh, probably. If I had to pick something right now, it'll probably just be more fruit trees and just expanding our orchard this way. Like we can get another four trees in here in our rows. So another fruit this year that we're expecting to produce, uh, this one is actually going to be for the first time, is our grapes here. You can see this arbor behind me. Uh, these are King of the North grapes. Uh, and last year they weren't even on this arbor they were they were they needed this red thing to keep them <laughs> keep them uh, tucked into the bottom bottom ring of this of the ladder up to the arbor here but as you can see they have taken over this completely so i'm excited to see what these guys can do another fruit here is our honey berries right next to our arbor here i planted these i th i think it was last year it might have been two years ago but either way they were so small when I got them and put them in and now they're huge. Like they're doing really well. Never had a honeyberry, so I'm excited to see what they taste like and how well they store. Behind me, uh, I've got a dozen apple trees where we have a dozen apple trees planted. We have an Evans cherry. We have a Mount Royal plum. I have currants. We have two currants and I have seven blueberry bushes kind of put in between the trees and the rows here. Uh, the only thing that makes me kind of nervous with our apple trees is last year, we didn't get hardly I think we had a couple and the year before that we had a lot but last year it was really hard there was a really late uh, frost or a really late snow and it just killed all of the buds and the orchard right down the road from us or a couple miles down the road they're an apple orchard 
they have thousands of trees or whatever it is and they like hardly got any so uh yeah that's always that's always a possibility living in the north you can just get a random snowstorm and it just screws up your whole plan your whole season and i'm standing at our oldest honey crisp tree this one produced a couple years back but it got hit hard with that late frost last year so this year it's poised to really have a good harvest for us i'm excited honey crisps are my favorite apple the last thing i want to share with you is this current bush look at this thing this is one my brother planted five years ago at this point maybe six but it's one of the originals in this orchard last year like we had i think the currants fruited but i think the birds got them all i didn't we didn't really get many currants last year but either way i'm cool with the birds so i'll take you down to the new garden area and i'll tell you about all the plans that i have All right, so this is our new garden area. It's on the other side of the house from our fruit orchard. This is the spot we're gonna be building our new greenhouse. So it's right to the north of our raised beds here. Uh, so I'm leaving space for more raised beds out of the logs that we're building. And then we're building a greenhouse right here. It's not gonna be too big. It's gonna be like, like six foot by eight foot. It's gonna be like a one man thing and it's gonna be an a-frame so i can actually stand in it easily i'm six foot seven so standing in our old greenhouse was just obnoxious uh, i just constantly have to you know have my neck sc like scrunched over and it just gets old real quick doing that especially if you're spending a lot of time in there weeding and all that this is going to be where i am dedicating to a tomato patch or a tomato place we have a log picked out uh, from our tree that we're going to be turning into like our main beam of our tomato trellis so we're going to put that in the ground and it's got like four or five different different like pockets to put a log in so we're going to just put a trellis in every in every direction that's going to be awesome i'm i'm really excited to build that yeah that is about it for uh the new garden area and i'll take you over to the blueberry patch All right, I'm in the blueberry patch now. Um, it's a few hundred yards from my house over a patch of trees and I just planted 30 berries and I have 50 more coming in the mail uh, any time now. The reason we're planting so many blueberries is uh, they store really well. The plan is to just get wood chips around the berries and just keep expanding it out until this whole patch is covered with some chips to keep this brush down and to just build the soil. But yeah guys, that pretty much covers all of uh, my garden area. There's the new garden or the old garden area that I'm kind of moving down to the new garden area that I showed you, our orchard and our berry patch here behind me. Those things are the biggest or a huge part of our sustainability plan here. We want to live completely off of our land. So that's what I'm going to be doing going forward. I know I rambled a lot in this one. I appreciate it if you stuck it out till the end. Subscribe. I'm putting out daily videos 8 a.m. I got all these projects that I just told you about. I'm going to get start or I'm going to start getting those knocked out and yeah you're seeing this place before <laughs> before the beauty that i'm turning it into um yeah thanks guys